In this video, I will demonstrate the process of how I scratch built my own version of the classic AC line voltage transformer based oscilloscope octopus, also known as a curve tracer. A curve tracer is a device that can be used with any oscilloscope that has an XY capability and basically plots a Lissage's pattern on the screen, which is a real time plot of the current versus voltage. I will not be demonstrating what it can do as there are already many videos on YouTube of people showing the various curves of the components they are testing. If you want to see mine in action, check out the wah pedal inductor study using a curve tracer video linked below. So here's a quick look at the schematic. It's just a classic transformer based curve tracer with a few tweaks to it. I'm using here a Radio Shack 273-1385B transformer, which is 120 volts, 12.6 volts. Um, they're still readily available on eBay. I paid like $8 for it. Um, I added a range switch here so I could vary the voltage across the probes and what the scope is seeing. And I have a variable control here so I can adjust the size of the image on the screen. The next thing I did was I created a wiring diagram just to figure out how everything's going to be wired and so that I don't confuse myself because <laughs> it is a little confusing with the AC and it's just uh, so different than a guitar pedal or guitar amp circuit that I be, would be building that uses DC voltage. And then on AutoCAD I did a virtual layout of everything to make sure everything was going to fit and I also used that to create my graphics which will be applied to the face of the enclosure. For my enclosure I'm going to use this Hammond 125 sized box here. As you can see I had a bunch of large holes drilled into it and I thought that it was going to be going in the trash but I was able to use part of a cookie sheet, aluminum cookie sheet that I got from a thrift store on my Ampeg Phaser clone project and uh, I cut it down to size, super glued it to the enclosure, filed it down and stuff. When it's painted, you're not going to really be able to tell without really close to looking that I ever did this. So that will be the enclosure. Here I have a couple of 1K, I think they're like maybe 5 watt resistors, my 100 ohm resistor. Now I don't need 5 watt resistors on this project. They only need to be 1 watt at the most, but I've had these lying around for years and years. I'm probably never going to use them on anything else. So we'll use them on this project. And then I have my terminal strip standoffs to the transformer slide switch I'm using for the power switch. And my 500 ohm pot and a knob. The transformer will be this old Radio Shack 12.6 volt 300 milliamp PCB mount transformer that will be mounted to the side of the enclosure with the standoffs. And then we have our probe jacks, three B and C jacks, uh, and a power cord. So now I'm going to go drill this thing. So here we are. The enclosure is all painted and it's ready to put the graphics on. Here I have the graphics applied and uh, some of the parts in there. Now I went with regular probe jacks here and a BNC jack which will be basically connected to these things so that I can use like those needle probes or I can actually use like a scope probe or some kind of adapter. It just gives me more flexibility I think when it comes to what I'm going to be probing with this thing. So I'm just about ready at this point to do the actual wiring and add the resistors and all that stuff to uh, basically complete the thing. Um, as you can see, I've insulated the enclosure from all the line connections and the secondary connections on this transformer so that if this thing ever got loose somehow that, you know, it wouldn't short out on the enclosure and shock me. So, <laughs> um, so far it's coming together pretty well. Here I've completed the wiring. Here is the range switch for transformer, power switch, probes. 
I had to use a couple of 560 ohm resistors in series because I didn't have a 1K1 watt resistor. Um, and you can see there where I've switched a resistor in parallel with this 3K resistor uh, to achieve a lower or higher voltage. And that's how it turned out. You kind of have to look for it that I added this piece to the top of the enclosure, but overall I think it turned out nice.